Come on. Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. And okay. I just got changed around. Okay. Do you understand what's going on though? Yes. You're, you're going in oncoming traffic. I know. And I just decided that it was better just to turn around really fucking quick. So, okay. But I'm sorry. Do you live here? Or are you just trying to... I just moved here. No, but do you live here in like this apartment complex? Oh, no. Okay. I didn't, but... So um, you were just like, hey, I'm going to exactly. I'm gonna turn around by coming in here. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is your car? Yes. I'll look at your insurance, well, too. Well, not my car, but it's my mom's. Because my car got kind of fucked up. I'm so sorry. What happened to your car? It's with my dad, like... It, no, you said it got messed up? Yeah, like, it has a bad oil change and stuff, so. Okay. Is it insured? Yes. It okay. Is. Can I just have you step out? We'll go look it up on my computer, and I'll get you out of here. Okay. Well, can I just look for the insurance real quick? Because that's what you asked for first. Sure. Sorry, I just have, like, really bad social anxiety and stuff. I get you. So, just a heads up, I don't want to be out here any longer than you do. We walk back to my car, I look it up on my computer, and I get you out of here. Okay. Okay? Go ahead, step out for Wait, me. what are you looking for? He's a very polite officer. Like, he's really polite. I wish they were all like this. Your insurance registration, I'm going to check your driver's license status, I'm going to do all that. <clears throat> Just go ahead and step out for me, ma'am. Okay, but... Do you have any weapons on you or anything I need to know about? No, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay, well, we're past that. So just go ahead and step out. Step I'll out. I'll walk you back to my patrol car, and then I'll talk to you back there. Sorry, just like as an indigenous person. Uh... Right back here, please. Miss Perry? Am I... Well, I'm non-binary, so... Okay. What do you go by? <laughs> That's the least of your problems, man. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm an indigenous person. Now you're non-binary. Next thing you're going to say, oh, I, I don't identify as a human. I'm a frog. Man, better shut up there, man. This is the least of your problems, man. You're going to jail. Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai. Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like probably three drinks. Three drinks? Okay. Judging by driving wrong way on that street? I know. That's the other thing that Well, hang on. Don't cut me off. Judging by how you're driving, the smell, I need to run you through some tests right now. Okay? That's why I have you out of the car. Once that's I the thing that I asked about before. I said, okay, so you're just giving me for my registration. And mm -hmm. you said yes. Yep. And now you're running me for other stuff. Yeah. I'm going to run you through some tests to make yes. sure you're safe to drive. Because it smells alcohol. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to turn off these blinking lights. That way they're not affecting your eyes as I exactly. go through your, your test tonight. He's very polite. No faults with him so far. He's been very good. She seemed like a weirdo. You said you had three drinks? What kind of drinks would those be? Rum and a cider. Okay. Are we talking like a mixed drink? Are we talking a shot? What are we talking about? Well, rum is going to be a mixed drink. Cider is just... A rum and a cider is not enough for you to drive in oncoming traffic. Come on, man. Stop talking rubbish. Okay, perfect. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. <laughs> okay? Stand with your feet together until it's like arms by your side, just like I am. I Hands like outside your guy. pockets, please. I'm going to have you take those glasses off. You can fold them up, put them in one of your pockets. Perfect. I'm going to be going back and forth with my finger. I don't want you to move your head. Wait, does she have a feather in her hair? She's like an Indian chief or something. <laughs> Circus clown, what's this? Throughout this test, I just want you to focus on the tip of my finger, only moving your eyes. You obviously have glasses, so there's no contacts in your eyes right now, correct? Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries, anything you need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> Any recent head trauma, though? You haven't hit your head in like the last month or so? You have? Okay. What did the doc say? That I had a little concussion. Okay, so concussions heal. Any long lasting effects? Sure. Long lasting effects include driving into oncoming traffic like a maniac. I'm asking you. I know. Is there anything that would prevent you from driving that no. car? Okay. Stand with your arms by your side, please. 
I want you to focus on the tip of my finger, okay? Oh, Burr, you're going too fast, man. I can't focus on my up. finger, please. I am. You're just like trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. I need you to take your glasses finger? off, okay? Focus on my finger. Focus on my finger, please. I am, but I'm you're... trying to focus on that finger. This is just how the test goes. I know, but you're exaggerating it more than it needs to be right now. This is just the test, okay? I know. When you stop and look at me, I have to redo a certain portion of the test. Okay. So just focus on my finger. Well, as you know, as an indigenous person, and there's a bunch of shit going around. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's just for me to be on my toes. I get you. Will you go back to that position I had you in? Standing with your feet together, arms by your side. <laughs> Your victim card is not going to save you from this one, man. You're going to jail. Stand on my light, if you would please face your vehicle. Can you remember that I told you that I'm non-binary? Who cares if you're non-binary? That's the least of the reports. This what? Your non-binary is not a get-out-of-jail-free card. What are you doing? What are you talking about, your non-binary? Who gives a rat's donkey balls? Yeah, I'll try my hardest, okay? It's not something that I deal with every day, so I'll, I'll have the, uh, the mistake of the habit, right? Please. So I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I want you to, to imagine about a four-inch wide line, okay? That four-inch wide line is just going to go from your right foot completely straight to the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Can you picture that four-inch wide line? Can you picture it? Just a straight four inch wide line. Yes. Perfect. Hang on. Do you want me to I'm going to go over some instructions before you do anything, okay? I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. Mental health. Um, any physical injuries? Mental, yeah. <laughs> physical injuries? Nothing that me. would prevent you from just not walking and turning. I saw you exit the vehicle. You walked over here just fine. No complaints of injuries. No, I'm just saying. Okay. Mental PTSD. You see, they know this whole non-binary, non-decent, they know it's a mental health issue. She knows she's mentally insane. But they want you and I, normal people, to adhere to that mental insanity. I am not. I hope you're not either. I get you. Well, unfortunately, I'm just asking about I know. physical. I know. Okay? I know so, I want you to go ahead and put your left foot on that four-inch wide line, just like I'm doing. Now, with your right foot, place it in front of your left in a heel-to-toe touching manner, with your arms by your side, just like this, ma'am. Mm -hmm. All right. Can you not call me ma'am, please? I'm trying my hardest. Okay. Well, you're a woman. Okay. You're a ma'am. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a man, so... Okay. Priorities. Priorities. Right foot in front of your left. Nope. Go back. I'm going to place you in a position. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching, just like I'm doing. Right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe touching, just like I am. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing, just like... Man thing? I apologize. Let's see if we can move sorry. forward. <laughs> Arms by your side. I don't apologize for being a man, I'm sorry. <laughs> the whole man thing. Being a man is a thing now. The whole man thing is just so much for me. I just can't take following orders, taking orders from a man. You're a man. I'm triggered because you're a man. <laughs> what a maniac. So touching, just like I am. Hold on. I need you to get to this position, just like I am. Follow instructions. Right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe touching, arms by your side. Arms by your side. This is the starting position for the no, test. that's what I'm doing. For, you were in it. This is the starting position for the test. I don't want you to move or start the test until I tell you to do... I think even if she was sober, she wouldn't be able to do this. Simple exercise. But this... These people are crazy people, man. They walk among us. So, can you go back to that position for me? Right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe touching. Perfect. When I instruct you to do so, you're going to do nine heel to toe steps. It'll look like this. One, two, three, but on your ninth step, you'll plant your lead foot with the foot behind it. You'll do a series of small turns, keeping this lead foot planted. You'll continue down the line, nine heel to toe steps. One, two, 
Three, when I instruct you to start, you'll focus on each step, counting each step out loud. You'll keep your arms by your side, and you won't stop the test at any point until you're completely finished. Do you understand what I want you to do? Do you have any questions? No, I'm just really anxious. Okay, you have zero questions? No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially... Uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops, like around white people, it's just it's just like a whole new thing. Hang on, man. I'm asking if you have any questions before I instruct you to start. Six, seven, eight, nine, nine, nine. Switch around. What are you doing? One, two. I'm gonna bring you back to the first first position I had you in, right in front of me, facing me. Facing me. This next test, I'm gonna ask you to lift the leg of your choice off the ground. It's gonna be about six inches off the ground, it's gonna be parallel with the ground. You'll keep your arms by your side, you're gonna focus on the tip of your toe, counting She's gonna the 1000s. Fall over. 1001, 1002, 1003. Your foot and leg will be straight the entire time. Parallel with the ground, leg completely straight. Mm -hmm. Do you have any questions? Hold on. Go back to the starting eight, position. Four, Go back to the starting five, position. Six. You didn't listen to what I said, did you? You didn't listen to what I said, man. I know. I said when I instruct. You. Take her to jail. I said when I instruct you. I know, to start. and right now I just feel fucking harassed. So. Okay. Take I said her when to I instruct jail. You to okay. Start. Can you just count now? You're gonna continue to I count. Take her to jail. She is a crazy person. Take her to jail till she sobers up. She's she's mad. That's n what. White people trigger you. Shouldn't be in America then. Go and live in the, 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 the Antarctic or something. These are the teachers though. These, these are the people that teaches our kids in school. <laughs>